In Apex 22.1, developers will get an updated developer toolbar design. We've restructured the developer toolbar entries to be shorter and simpler. You can use the new debug menu to enable or disable debug and choose the debug level that makes sense for you. When debug is enabled, the developer toolbar will reflect that by turning on the switch indicator, giving a visual reminder that the current page is viewed in debug mode. All of it is 100% accessible too. Session is now a menu that allows you to get to the view session entry, as well as a brand new utility called Session Overrides for Apex 22.1. Let's sign into our application. As per our Apex items here, the application language is English, the time zone is UTC, and the path to app files is set to the default values from the shared components. With session overrides, it is trivial to test an application for a different language or a different time zone. Since I live in Montreal, Canada, let's try changing the language of our application to French and set the time zone to the East Coast. With only a few clicks and zero code involved, I can simulate how a French user from the East Coast would see my app. Just like debug, when session overrides are active, the developer toolbar will reflect that by turning on the switch indicator. But let's reset it back for now. We can do this by turning off individual overrides or by simply turning off the global switch. And that's all great, but session overrides can do much more than changing globalization attributes. It can be used to try out external libraries very quickly. For instance, I found this top 10 list of funny JavaScript libraries, and I really want to try one of them. The Easter egg collection is a small library that will trigger tongue-in-cheek animations when certain words are typed. With session overrides, I can add the library URL as an additional file to my application, and I can immediately start using it. Let's see what happens when I type hi. Now let's try board. Okay, perhaps I don't need this library in my app after all. If you like to build JavaScript and CSS locally, you may want to look into the file paths session overrides, which allows you to redirect application files to a different route. This is very useful for developers who like to build their files locally before uploading them to Apex. This app is referencing a simple CSS file in the page properties, pointing to a file from the shared components app files. To expedite development for this file, you can take this locally. This file called demo.css is also served from my local host at port 5500. The session overrides that you set are specific to the current application and they are limited to your builder user only. This means that your work won't affect others on the same workspace. Session overrides are your playground and we think it will help you be more productive when trying out new CSS or JavaScript in Apex.